coated canvas from Longchamp. Hmm. Let's have a little chin wipe about this. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put up videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud. And what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are as an individual. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about a new line of bags that has been released from one of my favorite brands, Longchamp. You know I'm a huge, huge fan of the Longchamp brand. I own a number of their pieces, be it, you know, SLGs, bags, etc. I love their Les Pliage range. And I'm going to talk to you about the newest addition to the Les Pliage range. And this is the City range. I happened to come across this whilst I was perusing the Longchamp site. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a little look at the Longchamp collection, the Les Pliage collection section. Ooh, right. Which is where you tend to see some of those slightly more niche pieces come through. So there are some really beautiful items from Longchamp at the moment, some beautiful mock croc. There's a beautiful embossed LGP item in the leather. Absolutely stunning. But we're not here to talk about those. We're here to talk about the City range. And this range is newly released from what I can tell, from what I can see. And it's a range that is crafted in coated canvas. And this isn't a material that you will often see from the Longchamp brand. They work a lot with nylon, a lot with leather. Um, so those tend to be the materials that you'll see. So it's quite interesting that they've got this now coated canvas range. So in terms of the items that it comes out in, there are four items and there are three key colours. So there is the large shoulder bag, which is an incredibly practical tote style bag. Is that what you would call a tote? Kind of that shoulder bag, throw it over your shoulder. This could be a great work bag. This could be a great just running errands bag. Um, and it comes in three core colours. So there is the black, there is this terracotta, and then there is this beautiful beigey colour, which I happen to really, really love. So you have the shoulder bag. You have this beautiful top handle, which has a little bit more structure because the coated canvas is a sturdier material than, for example, the nylon that the Le Pliage range is often created in. So the Le Pliage range itself as a whole was inspired by origami. So the ability to fold it was a key part of that. And obviously that's something that you can do with the nylon pieces. Also the Le Pliages in leather can be folded, which makes them incredibly versatile, very easy to travel with as well. But the coated canvas offers a little bit more structure, particularly in this beautiful full top handle which is in the small size so it's a 25 centimeter base and this could be a great day bag if you were using the shoulder strap or if you're someone who's comfortable to carry something top handle alternatively you could also use it as a beautiful evening bag and it comes in the three colors that we previously discussed with the shoulder bag the black the terracotta and this beautiful beigey creamy color really really stunning there is a wallet as well in terms of SLGs. There is this wallet. Um, it's a long wallet. It's £150. That looked wrong. I apologise. There is no way of describing length without something looking wrong. So it is a long wallet. Very, very practical. I know that long wallets aren't necessarily so popular these days. Personally, I do use a long wallet as well as a card holder. I find it to be very, very practical for keeping cash, coins, additional cards, receipts, things like that. Um, and a card holder is just great when you're on the go. But it's a really beautiful item. This will be very sturdy. And because a wallet, card holder, etc., just gets thrown in your bag with the rest of your stuff, be it keys, be it, you know, any other junk. I was clearing out my bag yesterday. Oh my God, the amount of junk that was in it. It was, you know, you need to... You need to have something that's fairly sturdy and coated canvas is a material that would be fairly sturdy. So we know coated canvas is a very, very popular material within the Louis Vuitton range with the monogram Damier Bean and the Damier Azure as well, which I believe are all coated canvas products. So it's something that's very, very popular in high-end fashion. Um, so the fact that Longchamp are introducing this range, fabulous. And finally, one for, as Cassie would call it, TBE. This is the 
pouch with handle. It's £90. How adorable is this little item? I'm sure it's probably thought to be maybe an SLG. Um, however, I could absolutely see people using this as a bag, particularly in the colours that they've got this in. It has an element of formality to it. Also, the, the ones, um, particularly the terracotta and the creamier colour, I absolutely believe that could be such a cute little summer bag. Maybe if you were just going to the beach and you just wanted to keep a couple of little essentials, a, a lip salve, a little thing of sun cream, you could just throw it all in here and it would be such an adorable little item to carry with you. Do I think that I will be buying anything from this particular range? I'm not sure at the moment. The shoulder bags do not interest me, to be honest. I can see why they're practical. I can see why they're popular. Fabulous bag if you're looking for a shoulder bag. I already have one in my Lagerfeld toe that does what I needed to do. The small, beautiful top handle, beautiful top handle. Absolutely one for people to consider. Would it work for me? I'm not 100%. I have a small top handle myself, the Pokemon. Use it very, very rarely. Can't see myself needing another one. The pouch with handle, no need for it. Personally, for me, however, beautiful, lovely little item. Could absolutely see why people would use it. The long wallet, I already have two. Wouldn't need it. However, that being said, if they were to bring out a medium top handle, 100% I would buy it because of the durability of the canvas, the structure of the canvas. And I really, really love actually all three colours. I'm not a huge fan of orange normally, but I really love this terracotta type colour that they have. Love the black, love, love all three colours. I think they are fabulous. So definitely would consider um, definitely would consider one if they brought it out in a slightly different size. I'm not 100% if they will. Probably, though, I can see it happening because they are already starting to expand some of their other new ranges. So, as an example, the Green Collection. When that was launched, that had four key colours because the Green Collection was inspired by nature. So, you had snow, you had um, ocean. The red was that... F the... Fire? And then was it forest? Was that what they were? Um, that, but I know it was definitely snow and ocean. I can't remember what the other two were. But they've now introduced black into the green collection. So you can now buy the top handle, as an example, in black from the green collection. You can also buy it in black from the club collection if you wanted to. The core difference being the stitching is black on the green collection. It is white as a contrast on the club. So there are a couple of differences and I have spoken about the green collection. I've also shown you my green collection bag. So do have think about that but would I go for something in this particular city collection as it currently stands no if they were to expand it beyond the current styles beyond the four key products absolutely because I do love the colors I do love the material love the items that they've got they just wouldn't work for me However, definitely something to consider they all sit below 200 pounds in terms of the price point so you know, a 25 centimeter LV coated canvas item would be what? A speedy. And you're probably looking at about 900 pounds for one without a strap. Um, this item, the City with a strap from the Le Pliage collection, coated canvas, 185 pounds. So in terms of price point, I think they've done pretty well. And the um, the customer service in Longchamp is exceptional, the store environment is beautiful, and the quality is very, very good. So definitely one to consider if you're a fan of coated canvas, maybe you want something a little bit more muted, maybe you don't want something that's monogrammed, or you're very interested in a Longchamp item, but you haven't fancied the leather or the nylon so far. There we have it, everyone. That is my thoughts on the latest collection from Longchamp. Let me know what you think of these products. Are any of them of interest to you? Would love to know, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Mwah.